You've touched on this chronotype piece a couple of times. I want to make sure we clarify for people who are just getting little bits and pieces. So basically chronotype is we have these three different types and I want to come to what is at the root of this. I want to know if it's genetic yeah. or what it is, but basically we have these predispositions to being a night owl, a morning person or somewhere in between, which you've been touching yeah. on. Talk more about <laughs> that. And then what yeah. is the root of that? Is it all, is it nature, nurture, or combo of both? Great question. So what determines our chronotype are, are three things. One is our genetics. And so there are subtle changes in some of those key clock genes, which can speed up or slow down the clock. So, you know, even tiny changes, one amino acid change in one of those clock proteins. Uh, there's a condition called familial advanced sleep phase syndrome. And those poor individuals are wanting to go to bed, uh, go to sleep at around about seven o'clock in the evening. And they're waking up at about four o'clock in the morning. Their whole clock has been advanced through time. Uh, that's one, one tiny change in their, in their genetics. Um, so there's genetics. The second thing is age. And this is really interesting. So from about the age of 10, we want to go to bed a bit later and a bit later and a bit later. And that peaks in the late teens, early 20s. Women tend to peak a little bit earlier than men, about 19, 19 and a half, men 21, 21 and a half. And men tend to be later on average than women. they more owl-like. And then from the late teens, early 20s, there's a slow move as you age. So the time you're in your 60s, you're getting up and going to bed at about the time you got up and went to bed when you were 10. Um, so you've gone full circle. The important thing, though, is that the difference between somebody in their late teens, early 20s and somebody in their mid-50s, early 60s is about two hours. So making a teenager get up at 7 o'clock in the morning is like making a 55-year-old get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. You know, it's that. And of course, what's driving it, and it's almost certainly the changes in the sex steroids, testosterone, estrogen, um, which which we know is interacting with the biological clock. There's a very nice study showing that. So it follows that pattern. So we've got genetics, we've got age due to circulating sex steroids. Third thing, back to light again, it's when we see light. Dusk light delays the clock, um, morning light advances the clock, and so uh, when we're all agricultural workers, we got symmetrical exposure to dawn and dusk, so we stayed on track. But in our urban environments, we get selective light exposure. And so for many people, they may miss morning light the advancing portion of uh, of light, uh, and they may get evening, just evening, late afternoon light, which will cause them to, to be delayed. So, yeah, there's three factors. When you see light, uh, how old you are, and your genetics all interact to produce this spectrum of larks and owls and doves in the middle. There's lots of other um, strange animal terms for this, but I like the old way of, of larks, owls, and doves. If you enjoyed that clip, press here for the full episode. I'll see you over there. So the shorthand for melatonin that you read all the time is that it's a sleep hormone, and it most emphatically is not. But what does caffeine do? Well, it blocks adenosine receptors within the brain. So it masks...